Hello guys and welcome back to another episode in the Showcase series. And today, another viewer suggested build that took me a while to get to as well, so I am sorry for it. But today, we're going to be pairing multi bow alongside quick bow, And we're going to be using both of these weapons together. And yeah, these are my custom game settings and advanced options. Nothing changed, let's just get right into it. So today's run was suggested by Fuad Meda2790. I am so sorry if I butchered your name. Uh, it is not on purpose, I swear. And uh, today's run was suggested by this subscriber. I'm going to leave their name in the comments. So even if I butcher it, you guys can still read for yourselves and know who it is. I guess we're going to go to Promenade then. Um... So yeah, uh, uh, the subscriber, Fuad Mida, they said that they unfortunately lost all their save file progress. For some reason, they lost... Oh my god, that, that hit. Okay. There we go. They got hit, uh, they, they lost, <laughs> I got hit, they lost their save file, and they had to start over, and in their first runs, they found a, oh nice, they found a multi knock bow, which they paired with a quick bow that they found, and yeah, apparently it was incredibly easy to clear the game with those items, and... You, much like me, who has been playing this game for the longest time, might think that this is a stupid idea. Because, ooh, oh nice. You, <clears throat> same as me, who has been playing this game for a long time, might think this is a stupid idea because... If you're doing double, ooh, if you're doing double tactics, you know, using two tactics weapons instead of a shield or something, uh, it might be better for you to go with. Ooh. Oh my god! It might be better for you to go with. Okay, I guess we're gonna go with this. With um, throwable objects, boys axe, throwing knives. There are way better options for supporting weapons for you to use. Oh, with Fragment? No way. There are way better uh, options for supporting weapons for you to use. All we need is the final scroll. We're gonna miss the time door. So, way better weapon, way better uh, options for supporting weapons. And it might seem like that's one of those... Uh, build that's not really <clears throat> viable and not really a good combo but I'm gonna ask you guys to bear with me here while we get to the bottom of this and actually oh my god oh my god <laughs> I mean since we got an extra scroll fragment I think I want to go to Toxic Sewers, which... here? Yeah, it's here. I'm gonna go to Toxic Sewers. Oh my god, dude, four times damage. <laughs> uh, damn! <laughs> I was not expecting this. So... Uh, this is the second time. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not that insane. This is the second time that I'm recording this showcase, and the first time that I did, I died at a pretty good point of the run where I could just end the video there and we would be fine. Uh, however. <clears throat> nice, nice. However, uh, after I died, uh, I realized that I had been using 
well not conceptually but I had been using yeah only conceptually actually not practically but I had been using this setup wrong because the idea here as you guys just saw is first let me uh, okay the idea here is that these weapons actually work really well together and I know it doesn't seem like it but multi knock bow shoots three arrows at the same time and quick bow inflicts critical hits if the target has three or more arrows stuck in its body but it doesn't have to be the three arrows from the quick bow any type of projectile counts and you're shooting three at a time with the multi knock bow and then the quick bow is just gonna easily start critting so it is amazing and if you also deal with the ammo problem that we face with I don't know every single ammo weapon that we use against bosses so yeah That's oh, come on. So as you can see, that's why. And then again, <clears throat> we get to the argument that yes, they work off of each other really well. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. I saw the rip there. And I mean, yeah, those weapons work really well off of each other, but they are also really powerful on their own. And this is what I was thinking at the first time that I started uh, recording this showcase. I was like, well, this is most likely a, a, a build that the viewer suggested because they liked it. Not exactly, not necessarily because of its practicality. And that is a completely fine reason to recommend a build and enjoy a build. That was a dumb hit, by the way. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm going to approach this uh, build, this viewer suggested build, using that opinion that this is just a, a build that the subscriber liked to use. And that's why they're suggesting it, not because it, there's some hidden practicality here. But boy, was I wrong. Because it's so amazing to literally instantly start critting with the quick bow. Because the biggest problem with the quick bow is that the damage is not at all... Like, it's not really all that big. I didn't mean to do that. Whatever. Okay, so, as I was saying, as I was trying to say... Oh, can't use that. Uh, yeah. So, as I was saying, the damage is not all that big on the quick bow. But when you start getting the crits, the damage starts to get... Ooh. The damage starts to get decent enough. And... Being able to start getting the crits right away, like that, while still having done some, having dealt some damage to the enemy already from the three arrows, just makes the weapon really good. And it's also very, very good with uh, barber tips. That's why we're going to use it. I just didn't pick it up now because I want to play fast. And I feel like this build is powerful enough to play fast without going for any damaging mutations. Not for now, at least. 
<clears throat> we're done with the this side. Today I wasn't in the mood for drinking coffee, so I just made myself some chocolate milk, some chalky milky. We got the 60, which is what I have been waiting for. And one thing that we can do here... <laughs> that, was a, that was a nice way of killing all those guys. Is it mimicked? No. One thing we can do here is look for uh, synergies. Uh, sometimes you can get a really good self-synergy on an item. Like you can get a barnacle that also deploys poison. Uh, you can get a, a weapon that applies poison and and takes damage and takes uh, bonus damage from poison targets. You can get that with a bunch of weapons in the game, but it's it's usually rare. Oh boy, that was a that was a nice way of avoiding that hit. Anyways, uh, what I was trying to say, what was I trying to say? Oh yeah. Um, usually you can get synergies to work off of uh, the same weapon, but it's actually easier, usually, to use a weapon to apply one DOT or one effect and then take advantage of that by getting a bonus damage FX on another weapon. And that's usually uh, the way we do it. Like, for example, you... Okay. Okay. You get extra poison damage on your main weapon, and then you get a turret that applies poison. That's how you work. And... We can do that now, but with two of our main sources of damage, two of our main weapons, which is, in my opinion, amazing. <clears throat> and that's why I also wanted to re-record this video. Nice. Turning that extra scroll fragment into a scroll. Oh, really? Anyways, let's go. That's why I wanted to remake this video, re-record it, even though it was a, a decent video to put up as a failure. is because for the first half of the video, I did not realize what I was doing, right? I didn't realize that I was getting crits. Ooh. See? This uh, multi knock bow is uh, applying uh, poison. If I can get a quick bow with a poison bonus damage, we'll be set for life. Let's use barber tips because we have so many arrow weapons. Mm. This shocky milk was delicious, but it ended so soon. Hmm. This is nice. We're gonna have some trouble here with some mobs. See? Get those guys. There we go. Now what is that? Find out. Food. And as you can see, we are doing crits. This is so amazing. We do one shot, and then we're critting. Oh boy. Oh, if that was just a bit...
Oh, damn it. That does so much damage. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I thought I already found a piece of Malay's food. Ah, oh, now I need it. There we go. We're doing so many crits. This is actually amazing. I'm so happy with this. Ooh, I mean, Ancient Sewers is gonna be cursed. This is amazing. Ooh. No. Have I missed anything? No. Doesn't look like it. Uh, maybe. Nah, it's not even better. I mean... Oh, there could still be a rift in here somewhere. No, no. Let me go grab that piece of Malay's food. Wait up. Nah, uh, nothing here. I was kind of hoping for a rift. Maybe you guys saw it during the video and you can let me know. You can let me know that I was stupid. <clears throat> so once again, thanks to Fuad Mida. That's the last time I'm going to try to pro pronounce their names. Uh, but, but thanks. Thanks for the suggestion. Thank you so much, it was an amazing suggestion, and it really surprised me. I was not expecting such a good setup to come out of this. Um, I could go with support, but I think I'm gonna go with Gastronomy, so we can play it safe. There's no build good enough that I can't fuck it up by not having enough health and refusing to drink flasks, especially on Tactics. I'm way more lenient with my health. Oh shit. Ooh! Ow! Ah! Hmm. <laughs> Not picking that up. There's one more guy here. There we go, stupid. I'm gonna look through every single secret area because, yeah. Gear here is really high level. What? Dude, what? I thought I killed the other one. Are there two at a time appearing? not mimicked and I really like to have a cocoon so this might be my the only purchase that I make oh yes you had time to turn That's so annoying. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep using the, the things. Oops. Easy. Oh my god! Oh, I really need an extra jump though. Jesus Christ. Oh no. 
Oh no! <laughs> That's some bad level generation there. Bad enemy placement. Whenever I say bad uh, enemy generation, I mean bad enemy placement, but... Potato, 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 right? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, so, no cursed chests yet. We could find a mimic shop here in the weapons shop. Which would be amazing. I would love to see that. Ooh! Huh. I don't want that. Oh, nice, an elite. I would love to lower my malaise. Just a bit. Oh. Ooh, but that's probably a good turret, actually. If I intend to not purchase any other skill, I kinda, I kinda want this one. Oh yes! Oh boy! Gonna be good. E. I hate those guys so much. I'm not gonna use the bats now. Sorry, I think I bumped on the microphone a bit. Oh shit! Oh man, that was almost a hit. I'm gonna let that thing turn down there. There we go. You don't have to move, man. I'll come to you. Oh, they are attacking kinda fast! There we go. That is a <clears throat> good scroll. Oh crap. Okay, that's the path I have to take. We got the 60. Never doubted us. Uh, increase my speed. Is it for every crit? So I could use that for the Swift Sword. Hmm. Reveal the rest of the map. No extra curses. There might be a couple extra. Um, there might be a rift. A rift or two. Yeah. Is it mimicked? It's not mimicked, okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. Could it be better, but it's it's fine. Like what? Did I get four keys? Ooh, come here. There we go. Come on, I wanna I wanna see the necklace. Not deal with you idiots. Oh no. Sorry. Dude, I don't want to get cursed in the final. 
Okay. No chance in hell I'm getting cursed at the end here. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> now we have a bunch of food that we can recycle. Which is amazing. I think I'm going to recycle two pieces and eat another one. Yeah, I'll probably just eat the clean one off. I could have eaten the bigger one, but I don't think I want to have such a high malaise going into the boss fight. Especially because after... Well, I, I don't know how many bars, but after the malaise gets high enough, enemies start attacking real fast. I think it's four. At three or four, they already start having faster attack speeds. Which we don't want at all. We got the 60. Nice. Uh, I prefer mine. We could try to get something to get poison synergy. Oh, come on. Now both of them are poisoning. Oh, well. I guess we're going to be doing some poison damage. Some poison ticks of damage. Okay. We could use support, but I feel like I always use it. Let's just go with the cocoon. Come on, man. Yeah, dumbass. Ain't that easy? Oh, crap. The camera being far away fucked me up. Okay. Now, stay, stay here with me. No need for you to go anywhere else. Oh no. Okay, great. There we go. Ain't that easy as hell. Wasn't it one of the easiest runs you guys ever saw? Lumbering Sanctuary is incentivized. Graveyard is nothing. So Slumbering Sanctuary it is. Damn. Such a fun fight. Such a fun weapon. Oh, nice. It is lower level, and the legendary effect kind of sucks, because it doesn't uh, add up permanently. And I don't want to go to bank right now. Lumbering Sanctuary is an amazing place to go to. Don't need to switch it up for some money. Yes, looking biome. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay, there's the food. Okay, that's probably a dead end, I think, but maybe not. No, it's not a dead end. <laughs> uh, depends on what you call a dead end. There we go. Is that a legendary or...? Nah.
Okay. Okay. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. I can't use hold to attack and spam both of them together. I was thinking that maybe there were even more synergies that I was overlooking with these weapons. <clears throat> Damn. One teleporter right next to the other. So useless. Oh, come on. Where is this idiot? Okay. Uh huh. Found the food. Uh, I died to a golem the first time around because I thought my damage was higher and I I didn't play it well as well. It wasn't a good play that I did. So I kind of deserved to die, and it wasn't even while I was cursed. I just took a bunch of damage. At once, and also... Um, when you don't have a shield equipped, you, you don't have that short invincibility bubble. That you get when you, when you take hits. So you can just keep taking damage and the enemies will keep hitting you and you won't be able to do anything about it. And that's what happened. I was leading a rampager around. I was leading him on. Oh, nice job, idiot. Oh, yeah. If it wasn't for a cocoon, I would have been fucked there. Thank god I have it. That's why I always think it's really important to have a shield. I know you can play without it, and it is literally what I'm doing, but... I would have been way more comfortable in that situation if I had a shield with me. Force shield? Damn! Ramparts? I wouldn't be worried at all. Okay. But anyways, as I was saying, when you don't have a shield, you don't get that uh, passive ability. That sucked. You don't get that passive ability of a of an invincibility bubble that prevents you from getting hit again in a very short amount of time. So yeah. It costed me a really good run. We flawless. We also had flawless conjunctivius in that video. And uh, we got a legendary Tesla coil. So you can imagine how sad I was about dying like an idiot. Wait, what? That has to be an elite room, right? We don't have any lore rooms enabled. I think I already cleansed the malaise as well, right? Let's just grab the food. Nice, we do, we're not going to need to eat the malaise one. Just this one. Imagine I recycle it. It's been so long since I've been using instant recycle that I don't misclick as often as I used to. But still, sometimes I need to press R and I just press T at something and then I just fucked it all up. As always, if you guys want to know how I 
sell items instantly and how to get the game to look the way mine does uh, just check the description of the video and there are I think three links at the end of the description uh, one of them is for the playlist of the season one of showcases where I showcased every single weapon in the game uh, except for uh, apart from fire blast apparently which is crazy I'm, I'm gonna do a fire blast run as soon as I'm done here haven't decided the color though we might go brutality because tactics is such a given but that's not what I want to say now that's not what I want to talk about right now um, yeah and the third link And the third link is a no sorry the second link is my is probably my settings guide where you guys can check out my settings and my stats at the time they have changed a lot but what dude once again the cocoon parry isn't working i parry that bomb you could see that I parried it because the bomb was deflected. I parried it. I parried it. I I, I didn't press it too soon because you can parry the drop bombs at any point you want. You can parry it at any time. Uh, and the cooldown still happened. I didn't press the parry button too soon or too late. Uh, it's just because it's just because the legendary version is bugged. I use cocoon all the time, so I am pretty sure that this is the case. See, that was a parry that I could have easily done, and would not make the game uh, think that I missed the parry. So yeah, Legendary Cocoon is bugged, confirmed. At least when it comes to those bombs, I think. Ah, screw you. So let me get rid of it. Let me get rid of this thing. Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. No. No way, Cocoon only showed up now. Uh, I don't use Barnacle all that much. Dude, there's no way I'm gonna use this Cocoon, unfortunately. Ooh, we're at 14, we're, we're at 40% HP. This might have been a, this might be a good situation to drink, maybe. Since the person that suggested this video said that they beat the game for the first time uh, while using this setup, I think we gotta go... <laughs> I think we gotta go to the usual route, you know? Fight Hen of the King. And after we fight Hen of the King, we pretty much have to go to Spoiler Biome, so... Okay, that parry didn't work, but that didn't trigger a parry, so... Oof. So that makes sense. That previous parry triggered a parry because I parried the bomb and it still didn't work. I think it's uh, the legendary this spot. I'm almost sure that it's the legendary. Idiot. Idiot. I love Cocoon, man. Probably my favorite item in the game. 
We could also go queen, right? I feel like this would be a pretty good build to take to queen. Actually, we eat. Okay. So now let's upgrade our gear. So this is doing 80% damage when poisoned. So we can take that. And shots pierce is good. Uh, we didn't find any great synergies. It is completely fine though. Just the extra damage is okay. And we can probably get some synergies going on the <clears throat> on the skills. After we reroll a couple times. Hey, we might take this to Queen in the Sea. I don't know yet. Or Dracula. We could take it to Dracula. Right? Come on. I'm not sure about the scroll distribution between those final biomes. I'm not sure which gives more scrolls. If it's High Peak, Dracula's Castle, or... I don't know. Isn't that so easy? We're essentially just breezing through the game. See? Right? And uh, what else? Where else do we want to go to? Here, maybe? Oh no. See, that parry did not miss. I'm gonna ditch my. I'm gonna ditch 15% of my damage for some more health. And some more damage reduction. That amulet was straight up an upgrade. Okay, there's no cursed chest at least. If the shop is mimicked, it's not. So unfortunate. And now let's clean house before leaving. See? Fine. Oh, I pressed the button. Hold to attack has its disadvantages. One of them is that sometimes you can't do the other thing that you want to do. So, I haven't found the food yet. For real? I might have to drink. A big piece of food would... Would fit so well with this setup. So I think we really haven't seen the food. If we have, I'm so sorry, and you guys can just skip right ahead to the timestamp. Yeah, you guys can just skip right ahead. 
So, uh, recently I went on a date. Now that I'm single, I'm back at the dating scene again, and... Boy, was I rusty. <laughs> I was so unsure of what I was doing. And I wasn't sure I was being nice. And shit. But it went alright. Uh, I invited her over to stay at my place for two days and it w it went great we hang out we hung out we had dinner together and a bunch of good stuff and yeah it was an amazing date I I don't think uh, I just don't think I'm in the mood for anything serious right now and I don't want to lead I don't want to lead her on, right? By making her feel like we're gonna do more than just what we are doing right now. But I don't know, dude. I feel like uh, I feel like I, uh, when I was younger, I used to overthink everything, and like I had to plan out for things to happen like uh, months, years from now. And I just realized how, I don't want to say stupid, but uh, it's counterproductive, right? Because life hardly happens the way we want to. And I love the saying that um, whenever there's nothing doing poison, what the fuck? Every time, oh, this is doing poison. So do I give up on, hmm? I just did. Uh, the phrase that I that I do that I usually think the the saying that I usually think about that that doesn't that has no translation in Portuguese, but it's an English saying that whenever you make plans, God laughs, and that makes so much sense for me. Not because I'm religious, which I'm not, but uh, you can plan for shit, right? It's that it's bound to be different than what you're thinking, you know? I was really hoping for... Man, that was easy! That was incredibly easy! And we got a cocoon! Oh boy! That's good! And it poisons! Oh shit! <laughs> Guess we're replacing this. And let's just go fight Hand the King and be done with it. Oh boy, this is amazing! I feel like I might want to change up my mutations now. Ooh, not better than Cocoon though, definitely not Barry, not Barry, <laughs> definitely not better than Free Parries. So, support, point blank and disengagement, point blank, support, and disengagement. That's exactly what I want to use. The build that I want to make. I would like some things to do poison and they're not doing poison, but it's fine. Are we wearing the same head ever since... When? I don't even know. I feel like I've been seeing this head a lot. Oh my god, are you serious? Jesus. Okay. That was a big hit that we took. Oh my god! Oh my god! Huh. 
Jesus Christ! That fight was horrible! What the hell happened? I feel like the attacks were a bit desync, but that wasn't it. I was missing parries with the cocoon as well. The jab attack, you know, the one where he thrusts the lance, felt a, a really fast. Oh well. Anyways. <laughs> uh, we're fine because we can use disengagement again. And we can tank one hit and that will take us to 15%. And hopefully by that time we will we'll already have found the food shop. So we can buy food with gastronomy. Hopefully it won't be a mimicked shop. And what else? I don't know. I guess let's just go with Tranquility. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have I don't have anything else I'd like to use. Oh shit. Okay. Oh no. Yeah. Screw you. That's why I went with Cocoon as well. Okay, I think there's a bit of biome down here. Oh yeah. And it's the food shop, nice. Is it mimicked? It's not, thank god. Now we are poor. Oh. Okay. Okay. This goes nowhere. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Come on. Oh, <laughs> it's so stupid. What? Something died and dropped a legendary barrel launcher. Ooh. Fires three times as many bullets. And I see some use for it. Just for fun, right? Since we have nothing in our backpack anyways. Idiot. Stupid idiot. Why don't you try attacking this? See what's in here? A multi knock bow. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I missed the roll there. That's so dumb. No! Oh my god. I will drink again if I have to. I'd just rather not have to. Oof. 
food? No. A scroll? Always good to find those. There we have it. Ooh! Didn't mean to do that. Glad it worked though. Oh, you gotta press it multiple times. <laughs> That's so stupid. Dude. Nah. Ooh, that was close. I mean, I don't think that's better. Okay, I think there's nothing holding us back from just getting the hell out of here. We could, we could uh, try to get a better weapon out of the weapons shop, better versions of the weapons that we have, but I don't think I want to do that, we're so close to the end, video is 57 minutes long, uh, can I get you to generate a toxic cloud, oh yeah, first? Reroll our mutations. Okay. Bunch of useless shit. Uh, <laughs> let's go with this engagement. I feel like oh damn. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be support and barber tips. I am not Come on, that's not what I wanna do, man. Not what I wanna do. That's not what I want to do! I want to take this shit out of the backpack! Jesus. We might have money to reroll stuff, but we don't. It's fine. Uh, I was thinking about using it in the backpack. The legendary... Uh, barrel launcher. But... I, I thought about it further, and I, I don't want to. <laughs> Definitely don't want to. This is supposed to be an easy no hit. Supposed to. Oops. Ooh, easy, dude, not an easy no-hit then. And he's gonna drop his flask, such an idiot. And he's gonna die to the weapons that the viewer suggested. Yay! <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for the suggestions. Thank you for the patience of waiting for me to get to your suggestions. And I will see you guys in the next videos that we make. Which will probably be a Fire Blast video since I forgot to do it on Season 1. Apparently. So yeah, thank you so much. and Bye bye!